Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the TP-Link CASA Smart Power Bar and the Smart Power Plugs. I'm gonna be using the Power Bar in my network rack. If some of the devices become unreachable, I'll be able to power cycle them. I also bought a three pack of the Smart Power Plugs and we'll be using that for various different things. I'll show you the initial setup and how to get them onto your Wi-Fi. Let's take a look at the Power Bar and the outlet. First, we'll take a look at the TP-Link CASA Smart Power Bar. Model number is KP303. We have three individually controlled smart outlets and then two USB. It provides surge protection and voice controlled by Alexa or Google Assistant. The power bar could be controlled from anywhere using your smartphone and it operates on the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi band. The power bar is $24.99 MSRP USD. Next we have the CASA Smart Power Plugs. The model number is HS103 and I bought the 3 pack. On the side we have our power button and then we have this LED light around the edges. It could be voice controlled with Alexa or Google Home Assistant and we could set up schedules for power on and power off. There's no hub required and these operate on the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi band. For a 3-pack of the plugs, it will cost $24.99 MSRP USD. Now let's get to configuring these plugs. I now have the TP-Link CASA power bar plugged in. We need to go to the Google Play Store or if you're on iOS, we need to go to the Apple Store and then search up CASA. And then here we see that it has CASA Smart. We're going to want to select the CASA Smart app and then download it. I've already downloaded it, so I'm gonna press open. Now we're at the app home page. So you either need to create an account or if you already have an existing account, you could log in. I have an existing account and I'm gonna log in. Now we have some CASA updates, which are for privacy laws in your region. So we need to select location. I'm in Canada, so I'll press next. And then we need to agree to the terms of use and I'll press I agree. Now we can see that we don't have any devices added to our TP-Link CASA app. So I'm going to hit the plus arrow. And then we're going to say device. Under device, there's quite a few different CASA options, but we're going to press smart plugs. And then for this first one, I'm going to pick the smart power strip. It says plug in your smart power bar and wait until the Wi-Fi light starts blinking orange and green. And our power bar is doing that, so I'll press next. We need to connect to the smart power strip and there's going to be a Wi-Fi name of TP-Link. So we need to go to our settings and then go to the Wi-Fi. Under our Wi-Fi, we could see the TP-Link power strip D4 and we'll press on that. And once it connects, we'll go back to our app. Now it's connected, we need to go back to our app. And it's connected to our smart power bar now. It's asking to choose a Wi-Fi network that we want this power bar to be on. My IoT network is called Dolores and I'll select that. And then you'll enter the password and then press join. The smart power strip is connecting to the Wi-Fi and it will take a few minutes. Now we've connected to our Wi-Fi and we can see our three plugs. So it says add plug one, plug two, and plug three. I'll click on plug one and then we can give this plug a name. You could call it light or whatever you're plugging into this. I'll say router and then press next. So you could choose an icon for this. They don't have a router icon, so I'll just press the top one and then we'll do save. Then under plug two and three, you could add whatever name you want and symbol. And for now, I'm just gonna press next. Now it says, congratulations. You've configured your power strip and it's ready to use for your device list. We'll press sounds good. And it's telling us the power strip has a firmware update and we're gonna to want to do this and we need to do it before we could use it. So we'll press update now. Now it's saying, welcome to your smart power strip. We could swipe for tips. So you could add your smart power plugs into groups. We could do scenes and actions. So this integrates your smart power strip with other CASA devices using scenes and smart actions. And we could also integrate this with Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. Now we'll press get started. Here we could see our three power plugs and right now they're all active. There's nothing plugged into it, but if I click on the router power bar, 
it's going to turn that power socket off. I'm going to go ahead and plug something into it and make sure it works. Okay, so I brought a lamp into this room and it's plugged in to the one that says router. It's currently turned on, but let's hit the power button. So you can see that's almost an instant feedback. Let's turn it back on and it comes back up instantly. So that's it for this video. To add the smart plugs, you would go through the exact same process as we did with the smart power bar. I may do another video on this with the Google Assistant if you want to see that. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.